Grunewald. I'm a professional musician and author and podcaster and dad and surfer, <laughs> and I live in northern New South Wales. I was actually in shock when my agent finally said, well, could be six months, man. We might not be doing a show for six months. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. Um, it's unprecedented. You know, I've never had somebody say, right, it's illegal for you to work. And so there was some really scary times for a little while there. But um, I just thought, okay, what we've got to do is we've got to not be paralyzed. We've got to keep acting keep doing what we can do. I'm massively the silver lining sky, uh, and I really do think that's, that's the best strategy for a happy life, to always look for the silver linings. That doesn't mean you're in denial, it just means you're focused on the things that are the solutions, and you're dedicated to having a happy life. When I found out about the Great Southern Nights thing, I was like, oh my God, I so hope we get one of them. You know, like, that's so awesome. And, you know, it's a, um, you know, just a breath of fresh air, like, wow, you know, somebody's gonna give us money to put on something, you know, and then to know that it's at all different levels, like Tash Altana's doing one and Jimmy Barnes or whatever, at all, all different levels. And I just thought, wow, that's such a great um, initiative to, you know, get the wheels turning again and the best way possible to get it happening. So, you know, musicians are so lucky because I don't know if it's the position of the shaman or the preacher or the, the whatever, it depends on your music. Um, but there is something that is channeled beyond your the words that you're singing or whatever, there's an outpouring that comes out and people feel that. That's why they go to a live gig. And so for me, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back to that and feeling that. <laughs>